Happy New Year! This is my first video of 2016, which feels kind of weird because I feel like we're kind of into it. We've had about a week into the new year, so I'm surprised I'm just getting to my first video, but here we are. Now, my last video of 2015 was all about what I'm talking about today, which is my Up Yo Game Challenge. Today marks the last day of week one, so I just wanted to check in and see how everyone is doing. It's going really well for me. I struggled a little bit at the beginning just because my juice detox, the three-day juice detox that I did at the start to help kind of cleanse myself of all the questionable things I was eating and drinking. I think it really zapped my energy. I think the calories were just a little too low and it was just kind of rough on me. So I think in the future, the next time I do one of those, I'm going to have to really think about managing to keep my intake really, really simple and clean and just nutrient dense like I get with the juices, but still up my calories more than I was getting with just the hard boiled eggs. Workouts have been going well. I did have to take a rest day after the juice detox because I was just so tired. So on day four and day five, as a matter of fact, I took rest day so that I could kind of recuperate after I was getting some more calories in after I returned to eating normal foods again and I've been working out pretty hard other than that. Yesterday I actually had a double because you might remember from my last video my personal challenge for the up your game challenge is 28 and 28 meaning 28 workouts in the 28 days of the challenge. So every time I take a rest day I have to still find a way to fit in the workout that would have been on that day on another day i.e. doubling up. Which I'm totally fine with. I think it's actually a pretty useful strategy to do doubles or two a days because it get your metabolism up twice. I feel like I should be doing more of those anyway. So this challenge is a great way to kind of get me back in the groove of doing those here and there, if not relatively frequently. Anyway, I'm eating clean, I'm working out again, and I feel so much better. I wasn't feeling very well. It was just horrible stomach aches all the time, and I'm really happy to be feeling like myself again. I realized that I've kind of become one of those people who I absolutely hate. Like, you know how you hear people who have been like, raw vegan for 10 years or they've just been you know super super clean eaters for a long time and they always eat perfectly and they never have cheat days and they're just like well i just don't even want cookies anymore it doesn't make me feel well i just don't feel like i can thrive but honestly there's a lot of truth to that hippie bullshit. your body wants food it can actually use and sugar, dairy, all that crap, it's just empty calories. So the moment I go back to eating this way again, my body's like, thank the Lord. That doesn't mean I don't still think about having some whiskey. And I definitely will be having some whiskey at the end of this challenge to celebrate, but I think I've progressed a lot in the past several years because the progress is I don't live that way all the time. I'm perfectly happy to have, you know, a day or two or even a week off here or there you know, a handful of times a year, but still eating cleanly 90% of the time, probably more than 90% of the time. It has made a world of difference in just how I feel, my energy levels, my mood, my joie de vie. I did take some before pictures on the evening of the first day of the challenge because I always try to remember to do that. So I'm looking forward to seeing how everything shapes up by the very end. I'm also thinking I may take pictures at the beginning of each week of the challenge. So tomorrow, which will be the beginning of week two, I'm thinking I may take another set of pictures to compare and I don't know if I'm going to bother to put them in videos. It's pretty easy for me to just put them up on my blog, so I'll probably do that instead if you guys are interested and if I actually have the courage to put those on the internet. This is completely off topic, but I just wanted to share with you guys my t-shirt. Aw, yeah. This was the limited edition t-shirt put together by Evelyn from the internets. Easily top three YouTubers for me of all time. I've been subscribed to her for years. She's one of the few YouTubers where Without even reading the title, if I see a video from her in my feed, I'm going to click on it and watch it. I don't even care what it's about. I watch all of her videos because she's fucking hilarious. And she actually works really hard in her videos. They're really, really well produced and shot and yeah, there's pretty much no reason not to support her. So I was very excited to pick this up. I got my shirt in a size medium and I think um, she's actually going to be bringing them back in a less limited run at some point. I don't know when that's gonna be. So if you missed out on this, don't fret too much. I think they will be back again. Make sure you check out her channel and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date on when that's gonna happen. But just be forewarned, I got mine in a size medium, but I'm pretty sure this might be like a unisex medium because it's pretty big. I tend to go for smaller medium in my shirts because like I don't have that much titties but I have enough. I'm like I'm like a C minus. So I tend to fluctuate between a small and a medium depending on the brand of shirt. But I went with a medium with this one and as you can see it's fairly large. Like it's pretty loosey goosey. 
So I may end up personalizing it and like cutting it up, maybe turning it into like more of a muscle shirt because that might be a little bit more flattering um, just because it's a little baggy the way it is. But I still love it. I am a magical black girl, that's all I'm saying. Around this time of year, people are often doing their favorites of 2015, their best of 2015, that kind of thing. And I kind of wanna do something like that, but I don't wanna just do another video like I've seen 40 of. It's weird, I, I love watching other people's videos on YouTube that are in a certain style or in a certain vein, but I just don't want to do the same thing when it comes to my channel. So I'm thinking I may do a get ready with me, focusing on using all of my absolute favorite things from 2015 in that get ready with me and then after I'm ready I can just talk you guys through the non-beauty things that were my favorites of 2015. I don't know if anyone cares about that at all but I don't know I feel like you know it's as good a reason as any to shoot a video so I can hang out with you guys. But that's pretty much all this was just a quick one to say happy new year Thank you so much to all of my subscribers, old and new. And if you don't know who I am, by the way, and somehow this is the first video of mine you're seeing, which would be surprising because these videos don't do well. My name is T, and by the way, that's spelled T-I, not T-E-E -E or the letter T, because there's a lot of confusion. People seem to not know how to spell it. it doesn't really matter to me, but if you're interested, it's T-I. Spelled like the rapper, but pronounced differently. Well, it is Friday night, and I've got to go to a friend's birthday party in Echo Park, so I'm gonna hit it, but I'll see you guys later, probably pretty soon, because I do think I'm gonna just go ahead and do that get ready with me favorites of 2015 hybrid situation. And yeah, that's it. Bye. That's a, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>